Dr. Michael Corsillis here today. And today I want to talk about testosterone. And um, we do see a, a number of patients where we find out their levels are really low in testosterone. Now there's a few things that can cause low levels of testosterone. As we age, once everyone hits around like 30s, between 30 and 40, everyone's uh, testosterone levels will drop. But there are a few things that will speed up that drop in testosterone. Stress is one big one um, that can drop those levels. Chronic pain can drop your testosterone levels. Um, certain disease conditions, but also certain medications, particularly narcotics or pain medications, can drop your testosterone levels. Um, now, there's a big association I've talked before on my blogs about um, the rise in obesity, uh, particularly in the United States. One in three Americans are now obese. And there's association with being obese and having low testosterone. And research has shown that that um, the obesity, that extra stomach fat that we tend to carry, um, if you have high, high cholesterol, hypertension, and particularly high blood sugar, those have been associated with low testosterone. Um, so it's that belly fat we need to get rid of that will actually improve your testosterone. Now when you are overweight, that actually encourages the body to make more of a particular enzyme. Uh, called aromatase, which is not necessarily a good enzyme to have high levels of. This aromatase um, in high amounts can actually increase the, the, the lowering of your testosterone. The natural process that occurs um, in the body for testosterone in men and women is testosterone gets converted to estrogen. And when you have high aromatase enzyme, when you're overweight, that testosterone will get converted more to estrogen uh, faster. So as a guy, you don't really want that. Women have testosterone too, so you got to make sure those levels are, are pretty good. So I always encourage people to get those levels checked. But again, that there's always that connection of fat and higher aromatase enzymes, so we don't, uh, we, we want to focus on losing that belly fat. Okay. Now, when you do have low testosterone, what are some of the symptoms? A lot of people with low testosterone have low sex drive, erection issues, but uh, some of the bigger um, issues people might not be aware of that's related to low testosterone that's, is actually uh, fatigue or low mood, depression, um, you know, weak muscles. You might be working out, but you're like, man, I cannot um, bulk up my muscles um, well enough. Um, but just better sense of vitality and energy in general is what people notice that it's really lacking when their levels are low. Um, so I recommend you talk to your healthcare provider. Um, Get your levels checked. There's a variety of different ways to check your testosterone levels. That can be a blood draw, saliva, or urine. But definitely get those levels checked. And there's also a number of ways how to improve that. We can talk about more of that um, at our next blog. All right? Thanks. See you later.